Hey, hey, comic book community. Hey, it's Comic Hunter 1014 coming at you with another haul video. This is not going to be a 2NC haul. It's going to be an antique haul there. Uh, I had met a couple there that has they have a booth there probably sometime last year. And they're really cool cool people, too, man, down there, you know. And uh, the guy, John, uh, he's a really he's a really cool guy. You know, him and I got along really well and started talking comic books. And, you know, I so I, uh, I hadn't seen him in a while, you know. And I went back in there today, you know. And, uh, yeah, sure enough, they were still there, you know. And um, so I went and talked to them again and went through some of their, their boxes. And I think I, I found some pretty decent books. Nothing, nothing too, uh, you know, too extreme. But I think I found some minor keys there and maybe a... I don't know if respect books or not, but but whatever. I hope you guys uh, just, off, just sit back and enjoy. If you guys, if you guys and gals aren't uh, whoever, if you guys aren't sub to me, I uh, go hit that uh, you know sub button there and um, uh, hit the bell there if you guys want to you know uh, you know get uh, you know uh, little things and you know when my next videos come out or whatever. But oh, right, here we go and start the haul there. All right. So what we have in front of you there is uh, Black Mask. Uh, it says four kids walk into a bank. I believe. I think the rumor is, or the word is, that it's been optioned for a movie or a TV. Uh, I'm not too sure. This, uh, this is. I think I saw. I think I looked it up on eBay. I think it only goes for anywhere between maybe three to maybe nine bucks on a good day or ten bucks on a good day. But yeah, all these books are all a dollar, uh, all a dollar as well too. So they're all in pretty damn good condition. Almost near mint. Very fine to near mint condition as well. So it's uh, four kids walk into a bank. Uh, we have Hellboy Weird Tales. Uh, only reason why I got this cover by, I mean, I love Chill. Like I said, I don't think in my last video I had some um, <clears throat> some of his uh, from Shanna, number one, and then I had uh, Meadows. Oh, God, I can't remember what the heck. Meadows, I don't know what it was, but he, they did for an image back in the day. But I just love his artwork. <laughs> and this is, uh, yeah, this is no exception as well. This is a, it's a sweet ass, uh, sweet ass cover with that uh, Hellboy, <laughs> almost like. Almost like Tarzan, uh, kind of carrying off Jane or whatever. But, yeah, I liked it. So that's why I picked it up. It's covered by, I don't think it's worth really that much, but just got it for the cover by. Then we have G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, number 12. I believe inside here at the very last two or three pages has a little preview of The Invincibles, um, number one, by Kirkman and uh, Otley. So, yeah, this is, I think there's another one, too. I think there's Savage Dragon has one as well. I think it's Savage Dragon... Oh, I don't know what number I have it too. I don't know what number it is. I can't. I don't know at the top of my head. But anyways, that's be my second copy. And this is like I said, they're all in good condition. And then uh, I was uh, missing a couple of other books in my collection. I'm trying to try to get them. You know, try to get them all, get them back into my collection as well. And almost there. I was just missing uh, these two right here. It's a uh, Haunt number one. <laughs> yeah, man. I love this, man. I love this. I love Haunt. I think Haunt. If he makes it into the mainstream, you know, media or, you know, you know, like a, even a cartoon or, you know, uh, of course, you know, a movie would be awesome. You know, I mean, with Todd, if he had this Spawn movie, if it just, uh, I mean, if it does, if it does well, I, mean, I think he should definitely come out with this guy, Rick Haunt, man. So and this is another Kirkman, Otley, uh, you know, and McFarlane and Capullo, you know, collaboration. So uh, I didn't have this one. I did have it in my old collection, but not, I, didn't, I have, I think, 6 through 14 in my in my new collection now. So I was missing number one. And I was, missing number, I was actually looking this one up on eBay today, too. And I, I don't know if it's a variant or not, but I think they had it listed as a variant on eBay. The ones I looked at, and it was going for about, I don't know, 6 or 8 bucks around there. So to get it for a dollar, hell yeah. So... All right, that was all my independent books. And now we go to Marvel. Let's get them one at a time. So we have Avengers Initiative number seven. I believe this is uh, the first appearance of Vox and Prima Donna. And I think when I looked on eBay, I think they all said Frogman or Frogman, I guess. Frogman, I guess. But uh, uh, yeah, so that's what he's doing. That's my second copy of this one as well, too. So. And this is strictly a cover by, you know, it's another Clayton Crane. I love his, his artwork. Um, yeah, it's just uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful artwork. I love his, uh, I mean, I love his technique. It's um, spot on. And every, I mean, pretty much every cover he does, he just kills it. So, and uh, yeah, this is, I know it's not worth nothing, but Sensational Spider-Man number 26. But it's a, it's a beautiful cover by Crane. And there's a... Sensational Spider-Man 29, this is a Medina, 
<clears throat> I'm a Dino cover right here. He's has, he's, he does a pretty good job as well, too. So, But, yes, this is another Iron Spider cover. And then another uh, Clay and Crane cover right here. This is a Sensational Spider-Man 32, like I said. <clears throat> they're not worth anything, but, you know, like I said, they're all covered. They're just covered by us, pretty much. Now these next two, I couldn't find anything on them on eBay. I don't know if these are they're worth anything or if there's anything important about them. Um, I, I found 39, and um, there was nothing about it. I mean, it, it was, I don't think there's really anything about it. I just couldn't find anything. You know, I couldn't find any prices, couldn't find any listings on eBay for this. That's a Deadpool 37 by Way and, and Dazzo. Um, yeah, I, think, or I, just, I just got it because I love it. It was Deadpool and Hulk. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. It was a cool... It, I love Johnson's work anyways, his cover his cover um, work anyways. and So that was the reason why I got it, but also because Hulk is, you know, he's a, he's hot like a mofo right now. So <laughs> so I got... Uh, I just picked it up because, you know, Deadpool and Hulk, like, you know, you can't go wrong with those two. But like I said, I don't know anything about it. I don't know if there's anything, import, anything important about it or if the words anything or not, but yeah. So, and then I saw these in the Mercenauts video. I think I watched it first thing this morning. I think it was first thing this morning. I think I watched it. Yeah, when I got up <laughs> and he listed all these are. Right. Mm -hmm. And I don't actually. I don't think there's. He he didn't spec on anything at all. I think he just got them because. I don't know, like, I don't know why he got them, but I, he was saying something. I know Beta Ray Bill was on there because Beta Ray Bill is really hot right now as well, too, you know. So, but uh, yeah, I got him for a dollar, you know. I mean, I, I love this car. It's a nice, beautiful cover right here. And I mean, it has Beta Ray Bill, you know, on, on the third one. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I know these don't go for nothing at all. They're not maybe three or four bucks for the set. But like I said, I just got it just because, I don't know. And Beta Ray Bill, I mean, if anything happens, I don't know. If, I'm sure he's gonna. Ha I mean, he is gonna show up in the, you know, in the the Guardian of the Galaxy movie, you know. So, but oh well, just picked it up, just because. And then, <clears throat> oh yeah, these books right here. These next books, I, I had them all in my collection. I, of course, I'm just, I'm missing the. I think there was two or three of the books that are really hot, and I know one was really it was on fire. It's still hot right now, as, as a matter of fact, and it's still, I think I've seen listings on there for, I don't want to say 45 to, to 80 bucks, I guess, for this, just this one, but I don't, I didn't have it in this, I didn't have it, I didn't find it anyways, but it is, um, well, it's not this one, but you'll see what I'm saying, it's God of Thunder, number one, uh, this is an Isak, uh, Isad Ribic cover, I love his artwork, man, he, oh my gosh, painted style is so beautiful, but, uh, found number one <laughs> i did not find number two but i found number three and think i think this is the uh, god bomb story arc um so but yeah i didn't find like i didn't find number two at all i had it in my old collection um but i didn't have number six but this is a second printing and then we have number four another second printing and then we have found oh, I'm missing five and six, so that kind of blows. But found number seven. It's a God God Bomb God Bomb Part One, and yeah, that's the first printing as well. So all these are a dollar as well. So I found number seven. Found number eight. Found number nine. Found number ten. Found number eleven. That and I think that's the last. I think that's the end of this of this whole arc right here. So, like I said, I'm, only, I'm missing two, five, and six. And I think six was uh, the really hot one that was on fire. Um, it's still hot as well, but um, but I couldn't. They, they weren't. I didn't find them. In, <laughs> I didn't find them in the box. So, oh man! But when I saw these, like, hey man, for dollars, shit, I'm not leaving those there. And this is just gonna. This is the end of the books right here, boys and girls. It's some more Thor. I uh, got a Thunder, number 12. I just got it just, cause, just because, you know. And then this is, uh, I guess this is the Curse Part 1. I don't know what that's about, but. So that's 13. And we got 14. <laughs> what the hell? Is that you right, right on the Ram or something? <coughs> Excuse me, 15. And last but not least, 
16. Yep. So like this is, uh, I went out, you know, today on my, you know, Sunday, the day before Memorial Day, and um, it was Memorial Weekend, actually, but yeah, Sunday, I just got up in the morning, hit the gym, after breakfast, sat around, watched a little bit of TV, and I was like, all right, I'm going to go out and just do some hunting, and I decided to go up to that uh, the antique store, you know, and uh, yeah, those, the, the couple was there, you know, and John and his wife, Lori, were there, and so I uh, yeah, talked with them for a little bit, and then I just went through their books, and yeah, this is what I found. Um, so like I said, nothing... Nothing big, just uh, but you know I was happy to find these you know, Thor, Thor books, you know, and um, <clears throat> happy to get the you know the, the Honda books that I had been missing in my collection. So yeah, it wasn't such a bad day. Um, it was actually a pretty good day. So anyways, uh, this is my haul for the day. Hope you guys and gals enjoy. Hope you guys are having a great Memorial weekend. Uh, be safe out there. And this is Comic Hunter uh, saying cheers, everybody.